Hey guys, Ivan here, and yes, it's true, Flex Lewis retired, he is out of Mr. Olympia 2022, we were all hoping that he's actually gonna go through with this, uh, he was promising this to the fans for a long time, the last time he competed was 2018 Mr. Olympia, and he said that he's gonna do the Open next, 2019 came, he didn't compete, 2020 came, that was two years after his last show, he wanted to make more changes to actually get bigger for the Open division, he still didn't compete, 2021, he announced the comeback, he didn't go through, and now 2022, he did the same thing, he said he had some, uh, I think, health issues, uh, I think he had a, like a surgery or some injury to his shoulder, I think, and uh, he recovered fully and he started training again, and he said at 2022 Mr. Olympia, he's going to be there, he's going to compete in the Open, but unfortunately, it's not gonna happen. The thing is, Flex has a lot of fans, uh, many, most bodybuilding followers actually like Flex Lewis, not just his physique, but his personality as well, he's a very popular guy, and we were all so excited to finally see him on that open stage compared to the big guys, but no, no, it's not happening, he just retired. So a lot of people are saying uh, that Flex Lewis is the new Kai Green because he has been teasing the fans for years now and every year he just wouldn't show up. Me, personally, I am very disappointed that I'm not gonna see Flex on that stage, but he's not like Kai Green. I mean, Kai Green is openly teasing us, he is telling us, come back, and he never shows up because he has no intentions to do something like that. And I feel like Flex is more honest, I think Flex actually planned on competing, but he decided to call it quits. Most people in the comment section here are actually very supportive of this decision that Flex made, and me, as a person, as a human being, I support him, because he wants to uh, devote himself to his family, I'm gonna read this post in a second, so you're gonna see what it is about, but he wants to do that, and of course, he is probably scared for his longevity, for his health, uh, after a lot of bodybuilders passing away, so from a human being perspective, I can see, I can understand him if he wants to, if he thinks that's gonna jeopardize his health competing, I mean, then yeah, he should retire, but from a bodybuilding fan perspective, I am very disappointed. I was honestly really looking forward to seeing Flex on that stage, and as a bodybuilding fan, I don't like this, I don't support this, I want to see him compete on that stage. And this channel is not about who I am as a person, I'm just some bodybuilding fan, and you guys following me are also the same. And as bodybuilding fans, we want to see freaking bodybuilders on bodybuilding stages, and if somebody said that he's going to do something, I also would like to see him come through with it. So, as a bodybuilding fan, I am very much disappointed. And now let's read what Dan Solomon actually has to say about this, because this was never really posted by Flex Lois, but, you know, the promoter of the Mr. Olympia, the president of the Mr. Olympia, Dan Solomon, made this post. So he says, I received a call last night from Flex Lois, it was an emotional conversation. As he started talking, it, uh, it was easy to tell that he put a lot of thought into what he was about to tell me. I am hanging up my posing trunks, retiring from competing. I could tell that he was relieved by this decision, uh, it had been weighing on him for several months, as he sorted through all aspects of life, while also celebrating the recent birth of his son. I told Flex how proud I am of his decision, I watched closely over the years as he reached the top of this sport, uh, always a crowd favorite. Flex made this decision uh, to put his family first, choosing to prioritize things that mean far more than titles or trophies. Shifting his focus toward uh, the future that includes dancing at his daughter's wedding, building businesses and enjoying life uh, with his wife Ali. Uh, one of the hardest things to do in life uh, is knowing when it's time to walk away, so please join me in congratulation the Welsh Dragon on his decision to end one chapter and begin another. I have a feeling Flex is just getting started. So as you can see, Dan Solomon is also like, he's not calling Flex out, of course. He's supporting his decision. I mean, it's just a, a politically correct thing to do. And again, as a human being, as Dan Solomon here is, I support him too. If he doesn't feel like it, if he doesn't want to do this, it's his decision to make. But 
As Dan Solomon says, he feels that it is time to hang it up. But shouldn't he said that five years ago? I mean, after he did his last Mr. Olympia and stopped saying that he's gonna be competing next year, next year, next year. It's been almost five, actually four years. That's a long time. Four years since he competed last and every year we thought he's gonna come back, he's gonna do it. Uh, I'm making YouTube videos about how well will he do. People are having him in, in their prediction videos. Everybody is considering him like a top contender, the Mr. Olympia, and he never shows up. And again, this year, same story. Many people actually saw this coming, not myself, I really wanted this to happen, so I wanted to believe in it. If you guys remember in my videos, I was telling you this, that actually he's not gonna decide not to compete again. How many times? Four times? Third time in a row? I was just not expecting this, and um, yeah, unfortunately we will not see Flex on that stage. Again, if he doesn't want to compete, it's his life, it's his decision, I support every decision that he makes, but he should have made that decision a long time ago, four years ago, uh, I don't like him announcing a comeback three years in a row and not showing up, I just don't like that, and now again, same story, I am just very disappointed, upset, I don't like this, whatever you guys think, however you feel like, tell me in the comment section down below. Before we move on guys, real quick, I just want to introduce to you the Vintage Blast, the product by the Old School Labs, and this is a great pre-workout guys, the flavors are absolutely amazing, it is not just a caffeine based pre-workout, a steam based, it is a great pump and focus uh, kind of product, I just love it, I'm hooked to it, and the flavors are absolutely amazing, my personal favorite is Caribbean Punch, so if you guys want to support me and my channel, go ahead, try this product out, try, try this pre-workout, uh, use the link in the description of this video, and use the code EVAN if you guys want to try this amazing pre-workout. Let's now talk about something more positive and uh, more current, actually that's uh, Indie Pro that is happening tomorrow, actually, uh, this is Charles Griffin, uh, the photo was taken by his coach Matt Jensen, and it looks like Charles Griffin is significantly improved, in all areas, especially where he was uh, very weak at, and that's legs and waistline, apparently he learned how to do a proper vacuum, and his legs also came up. Everything else also looks great, the shoulders, the arms, the chest, the conditioning, everything is just like a really good package, you know, it's gonna be tough for Justin Rodriguez to actually battle uh, Charles Griffin, but I do have Charles Griffin probably in that second uh, place, in that runner-up position, I don't see him winning this show, unfortunately, but, you know, anything is possible, it really depends on how, how well Justin shows up, since he has done the Arnold Classic and Boston Pro, and yeah, I know he's very hungry for the win, because he didn't win any of those shows, he kind of failed at the Arnold Classic, he came pretty watery, and at the Boston Pro he was really good, but there was William Bonek, you know, who made a really good comeback, so, I mean, comeback in terms of bringing his absolute best back, uh, but now at Indie Pro, the competition is not that fierce, like, there are no top dogs, and uh, it's really for, for, the, for Justin to lose this show, but here you can see Charles Griffin and he does look very good, like, this is very, very impressive, can he beat Justin, can he win this show, it's a possibility, but probably not, I think Justin is just more complete, but here is another photo of uh, Charles Griffin from behind, and as you can see, this back is just insane, it's ridiculous, but like, Justin has also a really good back, uh, now as far as uh, Charles Griffin's glutes, they don't really look that sharp, like there are no deep separations, it's not really like dry looking glutes, but this guy usually looks much much harder on stage, so he does something the last day, I don't know what him and, and Matt Jensen are doing, but usually like the last day, on that day, at the show, his glutes are in, but here his glutes look a little bit softer, now, I don't know what it looks like in person, maybe the judges will see that they are not really in shape, I don't know, um, but overall, like, Charles looks amazing, impressive in a couple of shots, in, in some shots, in some body parts as well, but, like, overall package, I would go with Justin still. This is a recent update of him, and as you can see, he looks really good, like, he his physique flows quite well, 
Especially now, after putting Sintel in his quads, I mean, it just looks much better, like the, the flow of entire physique, the symmetry, uh, his legs are matching his upper body, he, the width of his shoulders, that's, that's the thing, like, he has really wide shoulders, and when you have wide shoulders, you need to have big legs to match the width, so now he has that checked in, uh, he always comes conditioned, his back is insane as well, so very complete bodybuilder, uh, very rugged physique also, not very aesthetic, so when it comes to competing against the, the genetically gifted guys like William Bonac, like Brandon Curry, like the other top guys who are really blessed with his shape, then he loses, but against the other guys who are not that genetically blessed, but also are like very big muscular conditioned, like Charles Griffin, I think Justin wins quite easily. We'll see though. There are other threats too, like Blessing of Audible right here, who is bringing his absolute best, that's for sure. Best conditioning we ever saw him, and I would say the best combination of conditioning and fullness. So we will see the best blessing of Audible up to date. Is that going to be a uh, potential winner of this show? Is he that high caliber? I mean, Justin Rodriguez is eighth at the Mr. Olympia right after Ian Valier, and I don't think Blessing is on that level yet. But can he be top three? Sure, I think he can. I think that's like his best case scenario uh, right after Justin and probably Charles Griffin. Can Blessing beat Peter Clanchier? Maybe, but we won't find out, not at this Indie Pro. Maybe if Blessing decides to do the New York Pro as well, so Peter made this post where he says that he had some travel issues and that he's not gonna be able to make it uh, for the Indie Pro, but his uh, preparation continues and he will do the New York Pro. I think it is a great thing because he still needs to get a little bit more conditioned, so I think he will be just ready for the New York Pro, and I don't think this is going to be a super competitive New York Pro, uh, like the best competitor will probably be Justin Rodriguez. Uh, last year the winner was uh, Nick Walker, who was fifth at the Mr. Olympia, so last year's New York Pro was tougher. This one, it's not gonna be that tough, so Pater has a good chance to place very well at that New York Pro. Unfortunately, we'll not see him at Indy, but only one week after at the New York Pro, we will see him, hopefully. Oh yeah, and we also got this, uh, Rolly Winkler, a photo, a new recent photo of the beast, Rolly Winkler, who is, uh, I don't know if he's retired or simply downsized for a while, he never really made any statements, but it looks like, I mean, it, he is obviously downsized quite a bit, now what is his plan, I don't know. And he has been posting a lot of different photos and most of them are actually old, so it's kind of confusing to realize how big he is right now, but here is a photo and you can see, so he definitely lost a lot of volume, he probably went off of everything, and uh, I don't know for how long he's planning on staying like that, um, maybe he's retired as well, he didn't make any statements, but is he still a beast? Well, the nickname will always stay, but should you call him a beast right now? Well, compared to what he was not so long ago, yeah, he doesn't look like much of a beast anymore. And this can actually be a good thing. I mean, like, if you talk about his health and his longevity, he should just quit bodybuilding. Everybody should just quit bodybuilding. Nobody should ever do bodybuilding ever. Because bodybuilding is simply not healthy. Not at any level. Classic physique, man's physique, bikini, professionals, amateurs, is just simply not healthy. So if you talk about him as a person, just like we talked about uh, Flex Lewis, as a person, as a human being, everybody should just quit bodybuilding. But from a perspective of a bodybuilding fan, I hate seeing Rolly downsized. But hey, this could actually be a good thing if he just, you know, goes off the gear and he still keeps training very hard and eating and everything and he just refreshes his receptors and then later he adds the gear in the offseason and he actually grows back to what he was again. He may actually show up at his best. Maybe this is going to help him to do something uh, that, for example, William Bonek did. You know, he came back looking better than ever. So maybe this is what Rolly needs to freshen up a little and come better than ever. We'll see what he's gonna do. Right now, he doesn't look very impressive. He's obviously downsized. He's probably working on his health. I don't know if he's retired or not. I would not love to hear that anytime soon. I would still love to see him keep going because he still has it. I believe he does. And if everything goes well for him, if he still wants it, if he still wants to do that, I think his best is yet to come. But whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, 
subscribe guys to this channel thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye